Racing Bowden, you've been part of, you've been a conversation piece for years in fencing. You're what, 22? 23. Now. Oh, 23 yeah, now. Old. Yeah. However, uh, you qualified for, for London four years ago at the age of 19, and since the age of 17, Prodigy has been kind of in the same sentence as, as Racing Bowden. How, how has your success at such a young age, achieving the world number one rank, uh, fencing position uh, last year, kind of really affect you as a fencer, your game, your tactics, and the pressure you might feel? I would say that, uh, if anything, it makes me hungrier. Um, kind of watching myself from that time and the growth that I've made and the changes that I've made, some for good, some for bad. Um, some stylistical changes, some growth either from coach to coach. Um, just kind of makes me hungry. It shows me the possibilities of what could be, what I missed out on. Um, and I think most importantly that like the, the possibilities are kind of endless. That's like the, you know, the pinnacle of our sport is to go to the Olympic Games. I've done that. Um, so there's like a different kind of feeling towards like even competing there. Um, competing at a world championship, competing at a world cup, it starts to feel different. Your momentum shifts to, you know, a different kind of pressure. Um, we speak of, you know, someone like Roger Federer and he's in another final at Wimbledon and no one's going to talk about it unless he wins, you know? So it's, uh, as you get older and as you become a better fencer, you know, the wins are the things that are important, but it's also that kind of like... For me, always the most enjoyable thing is that kind of like what we spoke about, like that art of learning and, and, and really learning to master your craft. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of things that go into that. There's like a lot of stuff that goes into it before you see that final thing, which is the result and the fencing that comes out of it. So um, right now, that's the thing that I'm enjoying the most is that training under in a circumstance especially with someone like Sergei Golubitsky where you're training at a high 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 level of expertise and that's you know new to me in many ways because my other coaches had a very high level of expertise but it's been a jump again and it's been it's been thrilling and hard and like lessons have been different and um, yeah and I'm ready to show that expertise at a higher level again at a higher level of competition and if I can keep upping my competition game while people stay static, then that puts me where I want to be. You talked uh, right there about hunger, and in previous interviews, you've talked about kind of that validation of, of yeah. knowing, always knowing you've been the best in the world, and, yeah. and finally, the rankings reflected that. Yeah. How did achieving that rank the year prior to qualification really ramping up yeah. impact your, your hunger and your drive you know, over the past nine months? Um, well, obviously, the past nine months have been extremely disappointing in many ways. Uh, my results weren't what I wanted to be. Most importantly, my fencing wasn't what I wanted to be. And, um, and that has a lot to do with a balance and understanding of the game. So for me, my understanding of the game was pretty simplistic at that point. Um, and kind of inflexible. All right, hope that's the word. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, stiff. so yeah, it was stiff. It was stiff, so my fencing was kind of, it was done this way. It was pretty mechanical, it was pretty driven by a system. And that, while it creates great fencers, it also creates time periods where like, if you're not completely tapped into that and other people aren't falling for what you want to fall for, then your fencing can feel kind of like a trap to yourself. So I think that um, coming out of that, that creativity, that ability to focus and, and switch and alternate and be cons consistently flowing is something that takes a lot more skill and takes a lot more practice and a lot more understanding and something that I'm diving into now. Um, as far as the pressures, I've always wanted to be the best. I've always wanted to be number one. It doesn't matter if I'm in the venue here or I'm in a venue in Paris or I'm in a venue in Japan. It's the same thing. Um, uh, for me, the most important thing has always just been to fence well. And that's the part that's the fencing the best. And uh, I didn't last year. And, uh, you know, even though I'm number five in the world, I'm not happy with that. I'm not... You know, proud of that achievement, and um, it's something that I want to keep working towards. And, I, and I'm very, very happy with the switch that I just made, and I'm looking forward to coming out in Rio and showing some of the new stuff. 